Hereditary angioedema, or HAE, is a rare non-allergic form of angioedema, characterized by a deficiency of C1 esterase inhibitor, known as C1 inhibitor or C1INH, and caused by mutations within the gene. HAE is generally hereditary, however, in nearly 25% of diagnosed patients, the gene mutations occur de novo. C1 inhibitor is a plasma protein that downregulates several inflammatory cascades. Deficiencies in either the quantity or quality of this protein can lead to episodes of edema. The trigger for an HAE attack is often unclear, although known factors include emotional stress, trauma, and infection. The following animation will describe the physiological function of C1 inhibitor and how the use of C1 inhibitor replacement therapy can treat the fundamental cause of HAE attacks. C1 inhibitor is synthesized predominantly in the liver but also by monocytes and other cells in response to pro-inflammatory cytokine stimulation. It is a key inhibitor within four interlinked inflammatory cascades, the classical complement system, the coagulation cascade, the fibrinolytic system, and the calocrine kinin system, also known as the contact system. In the classical complement system, activated C1 leads to the cleavage of C4, C2, C3, and C5 to produce proteolytic fragments and inflammatory-inducing complexes. C1 inhibitor inactivates C1 and thus stops the production of proteolytic fragments and inflammatory-inducing complexes, which in abundance can damage normal cells and tissues. The coagulation cascade is initiated by activated factor 12, which activates factor 11 and ultimately results in hemostasis. C1 inhibitor inhibits activated factors 12 and 11 and also thrombin, affecting the coagulation cascade. In the fibrinolytic system, liver-produced plasminogen is converted into active plasmin by calocrine, tissue plasminogen activator, urokinase, and activated factors 12 and 11. Active plasmin breaks down blood clots by cleaving fibrin and contributes to cleavage of high molecular weight kininogen to form bradykinin via calocrine. Here, C1 inhibitor inhibits plasmin and therefore the production of bradykinin via this cascade. In the calocrine kinin system, autoactivation of factor 12 leads to cleavage of pre-calocrine to form calocrine. Calocrine cleaves high molecular weight kininogen to also produce bradykinin, the key mediator of vasodilation and vascular permeability in non-allergic angioedema. Bradykinin binds to bradykinin receptors found on endothelial cells lining the inner layer of the vascular space. The endothelial cells lose their attachment to each other and retract. This allows fluids and proteins to diffuse out into the local tissues, causing tissue swelling. C1 inhibitor inhibits both activated factor 12 and calocrine, so preventing bradykinin production. In summary, in the absence of C1 inhibitor, upregulation of the pro-inflammatory mediators and the overproduction of bradykinin are ultimately responsible for increasing vascular permeability. This results in angioedema and acute HAE attacks. Cutaneous HAE attacks often affect the extremities, hands, feet, arms and legs, and less frequently the face and genitalia. In the rare cases of laryngeal edema, upper airway obstruction can cause asphyxiation. Abdominal attacks range from mild to severe pain and cramping, and are often associated with dizziness, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. In extreme cases, attacks can result in hypovolemic shock.
the debilitating and potentially life-threatening symptoms associated with HAE emphasize the importance of treating the fundamental cause of the symptoms by replacing dysfunctional and low levels of C1 inhibitor. Over the past 30 years, human C1 inhibitor concentrate has been used safely and effectively in the treatment of more than half a million HAE attacks. Consequently, C1 inhibitor replacement therapy is internationally recommended as a first-line treatment for HAE attacks.